Okay, so there have been some new developments in the sleep research field which shows that reducing REM sleep can lead to a higher mortality of people. In this video, we're going to investigate whether this can show that polyphasic sleeping is actually dangerous and if our recommendations or lifestyles should change the base on this study. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So the topic of today's video is a paper by Leary et al called Association of Rapid Eye Movement Sleep with Mortality in Middle-Aged and Older Adults. And it's a brand new released in July of 2020. Regardless, the authors of the paper asked the question of whether uh, less REM sleep was associated with an increased mortality and they got a sample group of over 4000 people to investigate this on. These, ple these people were split into two groups uh, and the researchers followed one group for 12 years and the other one for 20 years. So it's quite a large study, uh, which of course is very good. Anyways, what did the study find? Uh, well, for every 5% decrease of REM sleep per total sleep time, uh, people's mortality increased by 13%. So people with less than 15% REM had a lower mortality than people with 15 or more, 15 or more REM sleep. Uh, so what does this mean for polyphasic sleepers? Is polyphasic sleep dangerous? Well, fortunately, no. First of all, this paper examined the portion of REM sleep uh, of the total sleep time and as you may know adapted polyphasic sleepers have a very high percentage of REM sleep because of sleep stage repartitioning. So that's the first part but what if it was actually just a decrease in REM duration that was dangerous? Hmm. Still an adapted polyphasic sleeper gets as much REM sleep as their monophasic counterpart, which we examined in an earlier part in this series, if you remember. In order to reach the adapted state, you need to get the same duration of vital sleep on a polyphasic schedule as you do when you are monophasic. But what about nap-only people? Well, that's another story. Since most people require 3 hours or more of vital sleep every day, uh, nap-only schedules aren't able to provide that. That said, if you have reduced sleep needs and actually only need say 1.5 hours of REM sleep and slow wave sleep combined, uh, this isn't applicable to you. But for normal people, usually for those who need more than 6 hours of sleep when they're monophasic, uh, going for a nap-only schedule would have a potential to be dangerous since decreased REM sleep was associated with a higher mortality. Now that said, uh, the authors of this paper speculate that it's not actually the reduction of REM sleep in of itself that's dangerous, but rather that REM sleep is reduced because of the brain aging. In other words, when your brain ages you get less REM sleep uh, and it also kills you faster. So it's not the lowered amounts of REM sleep that kills you, but rather it's a byproduct of the underlying disease. Uh, if this is the case, you can ignore what I said about the nap only people. Uh, but we don't know whether this is the case. Uh, for certain, since the authors only saw that less REM equals higher mortality, you know. So because of that, the safe option is to avoid attempting nap-only schedules if you need more than six hours of sleep while monophasic, and uh, stick to the schedules that you're able to get more sleep with instead, since uh, that way your vital sleep percentage shouldn't hopefully be lowered on those schedules, or the total duration of uh, vital sleep rather. Okay, hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, if you would be interested in reading the whole article, I've linked it in the description of the video. But let's recap a bit, since I presented a bunch of different scenarios here. One, if a lower percentage of REM per total sleep time is dangerous, polyphasic sleeping wins. 
if a lower duration of REM is dangerous, polyphasic sleeping wins except for nap only schedules for people who need a lot of sleep. If the lower percentage of REM isn't what's actually dangerous, it's a tie between polyphasic sleeping and monophasic sleeping. So if you avoid nap only schedules, you are, according to this article, either in a tie with monophasic sleeping or in a superior position. Okay, so that's good to hear. But hey, if you have any more interesting articles like this one, be sure to post it in the comment section below and I'll try to look at it. Let's all try to become smarter together and also staying on the safe side of things. Anyways, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Remember to have pleasant naps, people!